We continue our election analysis here on ENCA, a weekend ANC, coalitions and kingmakers, only a few of the new realities we have to grapple with. Let's find out what Evita Pizetnot, alter ego of uh, Peter Dirk Ace, thinks. Evita served as ambassador to the Republic of Papeti Kosweti for a decade, a national party insider for many years. Tani then went on to join the ANC nine years ago to help the party through its troubles. Uh, Tani, Evita, thank you so much for your time. Before I continue, uh, do you wear any particular political colors these days or, or did you decide to join the many independent candidates we had in this election? That's a lovely question because I can assure you red is the one color I try and avoid at the moment. But I believe that the color of democracy is the color that suits me. I've even changed my hairstyle during the lockdown because I couldn't get to the hairdresser for at least five or six weeks, seven weeks, and every brown cloud has a silver lining. So this is my look, which is very South African, very democratic and optimistic. Uh, Tani, we've been asking all of our political analysts about this so that they could weigh in. The people did not come out to vote. Why do you think that is? I'm very sorry about that because every democracy deserves the government it gets. And I mean, the only reason Donald Trump is where he is is because 47% of the Americans didn't vote in 2016. And so I'm sorry that people didn't vote. I hope the young people will learn this lesson that if you don't actually use your vote, you lose your freedom. And I'm the one to talk because I come out of a, a country back in South Africa when apartheid didn't allow everybody to have a vote. And so um, I'm disappointed, but you know, still good people have been voted in and municipalities are the most important things in our lives. When in a few weeks time, we might go back to level four and we'll need a municipality to help us across Christmas in lockdown. I hope not, but let's be prepared. Uh, Tani, uh, in, in, in your area where you live, do you know your ward councillor? How's service delivery looking where you are? You know, service delivery depends so much on the interest that we have, uh, that we actually take part in our municipal affairs. I am the first person to pick up rubbish and throw it away in the bin. And I am always saying to everybody that whatever you do in your community is for the sake of the future of our country. Let us make community the jewel in the crown of democracy. And I think lessons are being learned. I think people are still counting the votes. A friend of mine stood in front of me in the queue where I got my tattoo on my thumb as you probably also did. And she said she was going to vote for Alibaba because he guaranteed her only 40 thieves. <laughs> so I don't know how many of that is going to come through. But we have learned some lessons in the past. Uh, speaking of, of lessons, you know, you are a former ambassador, so diplomacy is your thing. And there's going to be a lot of diplomacy needed uh, going forward because there are a lot of hung municipalities. There's a lot of coalitions that need to be formed. Please, can you give some advice to the political parties as they go into this coalition forming phase? Well, you know, I think the... If I nearly said the National Party. Of course, there's no National Party, but the ANC is getting closer and closer. I think the ANC and the DA are professional people. They are the adults in the room. I don't particularly have much time for a party that promises a Mercedes-Benz to somebody to get these people to vote. But I think the most important thing that we, as the citizens of the country, we as the people who have voted for our municipalities, keep the cell phone number of each member of the municipality handy. So if they don't do their job, phone them at 3 a.m. every day until they do their job. And I think all parties must realize that they are in the fishbowl of politics and we, the hungry cats, are watching them. Is there any chance, Tani, that you might uh, consider a return to politics? Because it seems like people are, are, are very dissatisfied with the politicians that they have. They're crying out for something different. You know, I've been there. I've seen it. I've had the T-shirt. I now cook for reconciliation. My, my aim is to make sure that people stay healthy. And, of course, my great-grandchildren are so important in my life that I want to focus my optimism on them and every young South African. We are still the luckiest people in the world because at least we can't hide behind the words we did not know what was happening. We know what's going wrong and it's about time that we focused on the good politicians and together we can make South Africa great again.
<laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much, Tania Vita, for those wise words. You can catch uh, uh, Peter Dirk Asa Vita and friends at Cape Town's Theatre on the Bay until Saturday. Uh, she was saying, uh, better the devils you know than the devils you don't know ahead of the elections. I'm not sure if people heeded that advice. I, I just wish and I hope and pray that I can age as gracefully and <laughs> as beautifully as her. I think you're quite flirty. Flirty with the Tani? Yeah. Um, I think you've got a bit of a crush on her. I think you mistook <laughs> my generally nice demeanor for do flirtation. You know, oh, do you know what I did like what she said? Nice. And I think it's true. Phone your ward councillor when that tap is leaking. Phone your ward councillor 24 at, hours a day. They are there three, to serve. At 3 a.m., wake them up. You know, so that Our they ward can... councillors are going to hate us. <laughs> <laughs> well, they won't hit us if they deliver the services that people want, right? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, uh, you can catch Peter Dirk, A.C. Vita, and friends at Cape Town Theatre on the Bay until Saturday.